fleeceonly.com. Hey gang, if you love high performance boating and fun in the sun, Florida Powerboat Club has everything you need. We plan the events and get you there safely to the hottest boating destinations throughout Florida. But you don't have to own a boat to get in on all the action. Social memberships start at just 69 bucks and include the Power Boating in Paradise magazine, FPC t-shirt, and a selection of exciting Poker Run DVDs. Contact our clubhouse in Pompano Beach, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter at FL Powerboat, or just check us out online. We're back with exciting coverage of the 21st annual Key West Offshore Poker Run featuring 150 Poker Run teams heading from Miami to Key West. The boats are now arriving at their second Poker Run bonus card sponsored by NextEra Energy Power Marketing. Mark Blanchin and his crew are on board this luxurious 90-foot yacht and their task today is to hand out a bonus card to every boat that idles up to the transom. Each team will turn in their poker cards at the Saturday night party in Key West for a chance to win a Ford Mustang convertible. Getting up to speed now, we're catching up with Scott Murray from Canada, who's enjoying his first poker run in his brand new Nortec 40-foot Roadster. The boat was featured in the Nortec display just a few days earlier at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. We're always happy to see Bob and El Berg and their 50-foot Nortec Team Artemis. Al does a fabulous job recruiting a fun bunch of pretty ladies and coordinating all of their matching outfits. Here's another sponsor boat. This is the Boats Direct USA Ocean Hawk 33 Center Console, powered by twin Mercury Verados. Based in Key Largo, Boats Direct USA pulled these molds out of hibernation and reintroduced the model as an affordable, multi-purpose center console that runs great in rough water and has the pedigree of a true offshore performance boat. Here we are now at Sunshine Key RV Resort and Marina. And if you're looking for this stop on your nautical charts, it's Ohio Key, just a few miles past the Seven Mile Bridge. We finally caught up with Nick Buis and Todd Werner from Team Statement. It's always a little hard to track down a turbine-powered cat from the chopper, but when it's time for fuel, well, that's another story. Special thanks to Statement for their continued support as a 2013 series sponsor. This fuel stop at Sunshine Key is a very important part of the run. The management and park residents here have been rolling out the red carpet to Florida Powerboat Club at this location for over 15 years. It's the only marine facility that has ample dockage, four fuel pumps, and a staging area to bring in our big BP race fuel tanker so that Mark Klein and his staff can provide the high performance race fuel that many of our poker run teams desire. From a spectator standpoint, the Sunshine Key Fuel Stop is probably one of the best places to witness what this event is all about. The colorful boats, some of which are still very, very loud, the hundreds of fun-loving people, the fuel pump meters spinning wildly out of control as thousands of gallons of fuel are pumped into these thirsty machines. For the locals who are typically retired, elderly snowbirds, their senses are on overload and they love it. We still have a number of boats fueling, but let's get back out on the open waters and catch up with a few more Poker Run teams, starting with Brad Benson from New Jersey on his brand new 42 MTI called Team Pass Blocker. Brad is a former NFLer and now an auto dealer, but performance boating seems to be getting a lot of attention in his life with his two sons, Tyler and Clint. Here's a beautiful area of Ohio Key and Baya Honda, which is our transition point from the bay waters to the open ocean waters for our final leg to Key West. And these are the landmark Baya Honda bridges and the location selected for that famous bridge explosion scene in the Arnold Schwarzenegger film, True Lies. But we're making our own movie today and the stars of this feature film are Californians Gary and Rosemary College in their 40-foot skater called Team Collegewood. We've got time for just a couple more teams before we wrap up our aerial productions. Here's Hammer Time, James and Audra Bohannon came all the way from Texas. And I remember the last time I saw this boat was at the Texas Outlaw Challenge 
that was parked out in front of the hotel, and I think that was the weekend that they took delivery of this really cool 44 MTI. And last but certainly not least is uh, Kenny Armstrong and his crew on Team Phantom. Kenny's been a longtime member in the club, a big supporter of poker runs all over the country. Everyone knows Kenny, everyone loves Kenny. He's a pile of fun to hang out with, and he's also got a very cool ride. Well, let's say farewell to these guys. They're in the open coastal waters now, and at 120 miles an hour, they'll be in Key West in about 20 minutes. When these guys arrive in Key West, the town will be buzzing with excitement, and the poker run will be in full swing. Looks like Yacht Mia is arriving right on schedule into Key West Harbor with the sun setting to the west. Captain Allen will be pointing Mia into the Key West Historic Seaport where they'll berth for the night. Meanwhile, the girls are getting ready for a big party at the Poker Run Village, so don't go away. We'll be right back with more Power Boating in Paradise TV.